Hey everybody, AJ with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here with a thrift haul. Now, I'm really getting into using my Dixie Belle paints for small projects. Not all of us have furniture sitting around that we want to have painted. And um, so right now I'm grabbing smalls. I'm going to the thrift store. I'm finding fun things that I can get creative with and that I can paint. Uh, and some are paint supplies that I got a Hobby Lobby on my way home. So I wanted to share with you some of the stuff I got. Now, this is my favorite, and I'm not going to paint it. I'm not going to do anything to it. I think I'm going to keep it for myself. This base I got for $5.99. Isn't this gorgeous? There's not a flaw on it. Beautiful. Oops. Oh, it's actually a candlestick. I didn't know that. I thought it was a vase. It's, it's actually a candlestick. Ah, now I love it even more. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? For $5.99, I'm not doing a thing to this. This is going to stay in my home. When I'm out thrifting, I also like to look for things that have like ornate shapes to it, fun shapes that I can get creative with, that I can be painting, and they're small, but I can still have fun. I found this and I got it for $6.99. Look at this cute box. It's a fun shape. It's got really cool hardware details. And it has cute little feet on it, but this definitely needs a makeover. So this is gonna be one of my painting projects. Isn't that cute? Pretty good size, and the inside is clean, decent shape, nice size storage box. Now these are fun to practice your painting with. Look at the size of this. It's got cute ornate handles on it. Ah, I love this. For $6.99, definitely couldn't pass that up. Okay, this next one, I can't really tell if it is a jewelry box or what is it, so you'll have to tell me. So look at this cute little Great condition. And I actually paid, let me flip it upside down, $4.99 for it. But it has this front compartment here to put things in. But then the top flips up. You can put things in there. So I thought this would be a really cute box to paint, even though it's in great condition. I mean, it's perfect. I could just probably put it in my booth and sell it the way it is right now. But I want to have fun with painting. And it's got a lot of flat fronts flat tops for decoupage, um, maybe some wood you bend. But um, I like things also, the ornate, to have fun with painting, but ones that are in good condition that are flat so I can have fun with my wood you bend and decoupaging. So got that for $4.99. Is that what I said? Yeah, $4.99. So that's a fun one. Okay, so this next one, it says $15, but I got it for a lot cheaper than that. This was at a, actually on an estate sale, and it was the last day of the estate sale, and they had like 50% off. And so, I mean, what was that, $7.50? $7.50, but look at this beautiful teapot. Now, you can paint these. Alice in Wonderland, uh, Mackenzie Child, those are the kind of things that really look good on this. You can put transfers on them, and I know a good resource for that. You can check up Tracy's Fancies. Tracy's Fancies is also a brand ambassador with me, uh, with Dixie Belle. She does a lot of really neat teapot projects. All you have to use is an adhesion primer like Slick Stick uh, before you paint on these. But when you get one off, like just there's only one part of a set, it's okay to paint them because usually they're just going to be used for home decor. Because the whole set wasn't there, it was just a teapot. So this is going to get painted and it's probably going to be Mackenzie Child style. Okay, and this is kind of on the same boat. <laughs> boat, it kind of looks like a boat. Um, look at this. It's pretty darn gaudy and it's pretty tarnished, but it's very heavy. It was actually originally a plant holder. Maybe someone got a plant bouquet in it, but it's very, very heavy. Um, this I got for $6, but look at all that detail. This is definitely gonna get a fun paint job to it to kind of bring it up to date because it is tarnished. Um, and uh, it's not a pretty tarnish either, but there's so many fun details to that. Look at that. Six bucks? Why wouldn't I? Can have a lot of fun with something like this. Okay, now I got, I got a set of two. I got two of these trays. They're metal trays, and they're, this one's kind of, I'm gonna see what is gonna happen when I clean it up. But look at it, it's got like leaves on the sides. It's got some grapes over here. These are all like glass. These are all glass. And look at the metal leaves and the scrolled handles. So this little tray is so adorable. And this one I got for $4.99. I actually got two of them. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet. Um, you know what I'm thinking of. It, may, it might be kind of cool to 
actually just put a coat of chalk paint on here. Um, I can even go with the browns and make it a chalkboard. Um, and I can write little messages on here like, um, you know, maybe I'm gonna put a plate of cheese here. I can write cheese or I don't know. I was thinking about making these into chalkboards and to make a chalkboard, this is how easy it is. All you have to use is Dixieville's chalk mineral based paints. That's it. You just don't seal them. And if you don't seal them, they become a chalkboard. It's chalk paint, uh, chalk mineral paint. So I'm going to probably paint this in like collard greens, which is a deep dark green, or I'll use one of the browns. But as long as I don't seal it, I can write on it with chalk and make it a little chalkboard. Um, but that's what's kind of screaming to me. But look at that, that pretty. I got two of them for $4.99. Okay, this, this isn't for a makeover, but it's in my bag, so I'll show you. They also had fake Uggs. These are perfect for when I'm walking the dogs late at night on the backyard for their little potty break before bed. And they're fleece lined, they're fake, fake Crocs. And they actually had these at the thrift store and I got them for $8. <laughs> Why not? Oh, while thrifting, get something brand new. And then when I'm at the Goodwill, I always like to, and actually this wasn't a Goodwill, I apologize. It was a thrift store, but it was called American Thrift. I apologize, it wasn't the Goodwill. Um, so I always have to look at their artwork and I thought this, would, this is kind of a cool picture. I stage a lot of furniture and this has a lot of the colors that's gonna go with my staging and there was no flaws on it. I got this for $6.99 and look at that pretty painting. So it, it's probably like one of those Kirklands or whatever, but that's okay for $6.99. This will be gorgeous for staging some of my furniture. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty good size. Uh, it is size unknown. <laughs> I don't know the size, but isn't that pretty? And it's got some texture to it where they, it looks like, like a hot glue almost um, raised around the petals to give it like a 3D effect. So, and then if I get sick of it, I paint over it. And then I got a canvas for that little. Okay, so we got that. Okay, and I have a booth where I sell a lot of my stuff and I'm always, you know, I get these at Hobby Lobby, but a lot of times they're sold out. I got this for $1.99. But anytime I do a canvas, or I do um, like a, a wood round or any type of like tray that I wanna display, but you have to be able to sell anything that's in your booth that you're using to display, you have to be able to sell it. So um, I got this for $1.99 because I know, I know that I'll be using it. And I turn around and I sell these for $10 a piece in my booth. Okay, so it is right before Christmas. And I scored on these. I don't even know what's in them and I'm gonna open them up and show you. I got these bags of ornaments, but they looked so original and so cool and not like the usual Hobby Lobby type ornaments. Nothing wrong with Hobby Lobby ornaments, but I'm just saying this, it, these were different. So I'm gonna open these up. I got several bags of them for $2.99 a bag. I haven't even looked at them, but I wanna share them with you guys. I can either keep these for my own tree or I can turn around and separate them and sell them in my booth um, next year. These are so cute. Okay, I might have to keep these. <laughs> okay, let me show you these. So the, this whole bag, I'm gonna show you right now. This is bag number one, and I got the whole bag for $2.99. And look at this precious little uh, elk or moose. But he's got the dangling legs, and look at the little pine cones as his legs. And they're all little pieces of wood. This alone, the whole bag is $2.99. This alone, I would have paid more than that for. So we got that one. I'm going to set that little. Oh, and he's, he sets up really cute too. Almost like an elf on a shelf. Instead, it's a moose on the loose. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. These are for $2.99. I can't believe this. This next one's kind of hard to get out of the bag because he's big. Oh, he's a cowboy. Okay, here's the next one. Look at this cowboy. Little cowboy, cowboy hat. He's got a lasso, his hands, but look at when you pull the string. <laughs> look at that, woo! Once again, he's part of that set for $2.99 and he's so cute. Look at that. I see a little theme with this bag. Okay, this is some rusty jingle bells with a little um, gingerbread person up on up above. Isn't that, that cute? Look at that. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm going to sell these or if I'm going to keep them for myself. Okay, going along that cowboy theme. This is a little saddle. Isn't that cute? This, I'm still on the first $2.99 bag. Got another gingerbread bells. Oh my gosh. Okay, that, all that was in one bag for $2.99. Now on to the next one. <laughs> yes. Okay, $2.99, just to prove it. Oopsie, $2.99. Okay. Okay, we got another one. Oh, he needs a little fixing. Hey, for $2.99, he needs a little fixing. That's okay. Let me see if I can fix him real quick. I can fix him real quick. There we go. Okay, here's the next one. Check this out. Now, just like the moose, we have a little bear who has a fishing wire with a little fish. Same little legs, same little pine cone feet with little kind of ribbons. Look at that. All carved wood. Look at that. You can see the bark of the wood. Look at that. I scored on this set. He's going to sit right next to my little moose on the loose. Okay, then we have a little cowboy. Okay. Oops. Our first damaged one. I'll see if I can see if his leg's inside here. But we have a little, um, I don't know what that is. Is that a bear or a moose? I don't know what that is but he's got a lasso in his hand. He's missing a leg. So I'm hoping his leg will be in the bag. Isn't that cute? We have a tiny little howling wolf, little wood carved howling wolf. A little cowboy hat. A little cowboy vest. Are these cute? I don't think they're, I don't think it, it feels like wood, but I think it's more of like a plastic composite. This bag has a bunch of a tiny ones in here. Definitely a theme though. We have a armadillo, little armadillo. It's kind of creepy. We have a little, okay, the, these are connected together for some reason, and it's t intentionally, because there's a hook at the bottom. But this is a uh, Santa with a gun and then a stagecoach. Must be protecting all the presents. I don't know, but definitely Western. We have a little, what is that? Violin or guitar? <laughs> Probably a guitar. Little Western gloves. Don't look at my nails. I need to get my nails done. A uh, little cactus with decorated with lights. Another little Western hat. A little covered wagon. Another little cowboy. Looks like he's celebrating, shooting up into the to the air. Another little cowboy. A little cow skull. I said some some are a little creepy. Another little cowboy boot. I'm still on bag number two for two dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, a beautiful Indian headdress. More cowboy boots. A buffalo, little buffalo. Oh, this one's cute. Little horseshoe. Couple of horseshoes with uh, a ribbon in the middle. You know, nothing says Christmas like a set of horseshoes. Okay, cute little Western Santa. Okay, that was bag number two. So far, I'm only in, uh, what, $5 and I've got all of this. Oh my God, I have two, I, I have two more bags. Once again, $2.99. I don't know how, why they price these so low. I almost feel guilty. I feel like I need to go back and donate money. I do feel guilty. Oh, look at this one. Okay, there we go. Not sure that that's supposed to be a deer or what that's supposed to be. It's got a little canoe on the front. 
have no clue what this is supposed to be. I, see, look at all the antlers. I'm assuming that's a deer, but it's all awfully fat bellied to be a deer. And that canoe was very tiny in front of it. D that one's different. Okay, oh, look at this cute little stagecoach. A big cowboy boot. A cactus. With a, oh, that's a little star on there, a little star going around it, like little decorations. Okay, this one doesn't have a hook or anything, but it's a bronking horse. Oh, this one's precious. This one's cute. This one says really Christmas. Look at that. Look at that cute little Santa. Kind of it has kind of like a weird nose. I think someone made this. See the nose? And the cheeks are together. But look at that, isn't that cute? I think someone might have painted this one. I don't know. Because his nose and his mouth is a little weird. But hey, <laughs> I'm not complaining. Okay, last thing. <laughs> and these are big ones, so there's not very many inside this one. But I had to share it with you. Okay, more cowboy boots. Okay, each, each so, so far each set of cowboy boots have been a little bit different. Here's like a little snake, I don't know, snakeskin one or something. And then this one is like an alligator one. See the ones I showed you earlier, this is probably like an ostrich skin one. So each boot is different. Darn, they're cute. Okay, who just doesn't want a pair of chaps? <laughs> just, just the bottom half of a torso. Uh, a, a set of chaps hanging from your Christmas tree. So here, here we got a little set of chaps. Got the belt buckle and everything on there. Okay. And then we have a cowboy with his lasso. Oh, you know what? I bet you he's supposed to be on top of this horse. Yeah, I bet you he's supposed to be on top. There we go. I'll hot glue these together. So that makes more sense that he's with the horse. Look at that lasso, lasso and everything. So, so detailed. And the last one of the set is another stagecoach. Can you believe I got that many or ornaments for 12 bucks? All those ornaments for 12 bucks. Wow. Okay. So, oh, and the last thing, this one's heavy, very heavy, but this, I would, I would have paid a lot of money if I would have got this like a TJ Maxx even. You see these at TJ Maxx a lot. Ugh. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll pull it back a little bit. The price on this one was $7.99. Look at this gorgeous blown. You can, it's like that um, mercury glass. You can kind of see through it and you kind of cannot. You can see through it just a little bit. It's just got the haze of silver. Look at the size of this thing. For $7 and, what did I say? $7.09. Look at that. It's huge. Huge. Okay. So, okay. I got a lot of paintbrushes and stuff, and I don't want this video to get too long. I, for, um, I got these for a dollar a piece, a dollar a piece, on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So on the theme of like painting that one teapot, look at these little tiny, look at these little tiny glasses. I got these for a dollar each. I thought these would be kind of fun to, uh, to paint, um, paint like watercolor flowers, make it look like watercolor flowers, paint, paint flowers on those. I collect tea, uh, antique tea sets and I'm not painting them. So I thought it'd be fun to paint these for only a buck. buck. But it also, for a dollar, this is in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. Hopefully I didn't break it. Yep. I didn't break it. For a dollar, the, the matching teapot. So wouldn't these be cute? Hand painted with little tiny flowers on here. And little flowers would be a heck of a lot easier than practicing painting big flowers. So I'm going to be painting some flowers on these. So I have a, uh, two cups and a teapot. Oh, I did notice that my one cup is chipped. I have a little chip right there. Darn it. Oh, well, they're just for looks. Oh, and then I, I got this like little carrying case. Um, it's empty. That's just a picture of brushes. I got this little carrying case 
because I, like I said, I want to keep my favorite brushes separate because I have so many brushes. I put them all in a cup. I'm keeping my favorite brushes separate, uh, my go-tos, so that I can just grab this box and go. If I need any other brushes, I'll go through my collection, but I'm going to keep my favorite ones in this little Tupperware bin. It's going to help me save some time. And then I got some like mop brushes. Oh, these are so soft. These are fun. Now, if you want a cheap dupe for these, um, this one right here, this one was $8.99 and then the 40% off. Um, I got a smaller one for uh, $5.99. But if you go to your Dollar Tree and get their wet and wild makeup brushes, they're the same, they give you the same thing. This, I mean, they're, they're just as good. Um, so you'll pay $1.25 for them instead. But uh, I actually bought out my entire Dollar Tree of all of their wet and wild brushes and they have not gotten them in and it's been over a month. So I did pick these up while I was at Hobby Lobby. And they do the same thing as makeup brushes, but these matte brushes are so pretty for blending and um, getting that soft, cloudy background. So I got a bunch of those, a bunch. This one I thought was kind of neat. I have lots of fan brushes and the, they're always so big and sometimes I have to use like half of a fan brush just to be really small. But I, I saw this one. It's, uh, it's for acrylic, watercolor, and oil. It's called Velvet Touch. But look at how tiny this little fan brush is. Look at how tiny that is. It's like a baby fan brush. Now, most of you who are painters are like, uh, yeah, of course, Amy, they've had those. It's not anything new. It is new to me. I haven't seen this before. So I'm excited to use this because I do a lot of smaller canvases. I like to buy the canvases at Dollar Tree and make them into reverse canvases by taking the frame out, staining the frame, and then stapling the uh, the canvas to the back of the frame. But when you when you want to make little itty bitty trees, this is going to be so much easier. I'm excited to use that. So that is my haul today. I know it's kind of long. I spent most of the time on the, um, the, uh, the ornaments, but I was shocked at how many ornaments I got for the price. And these are not like, these are not cheap little or ornaments. These are, I mean, these are specialty ornaments. Look at the detail on these. I don't know if I'm gonna sell these in my booth next year or if I'm gonna keep them for myself. I have no idea, but they are stinking cute. And um, none of them are broken except where I did not find the leg to one. Just one, one is missing a leg, that is it. So nothing wrong with missing a leg, it'll go on my tree. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Now, um, you know, with all these projects, the one thing I just have to reiterate is, um, these are the type of projects. Go to the thrift store and have fun practicing your painting. If you don't have furniture to paint right now, you know I'm a furniture flipper, but if you don't have furniture to paint right now, then why not grab some smalls from your local thrift store for $2.99, $5.99, and have fun painting. And I'm really getting into the painting right now because one, Dixie Bell, and you all know, if you don't know me, I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paints, but they have the four ounce container paints out now four ounce container. Great for crafting. P paint goes a long way, but on top of that, it's no VOC. So if you know, if you want to have your kids finger painting, I would much rather have them finger painting and painting with a no VOCs uh, chalk based paint than um, with a very um, dollar, you know, the Dollar Tree paints and you don't know where they got them. You don't know really what's in them. And so for me, I just feel safer. If, if my family is going to be painting with their fingers or playing around with paints, I want to make sure it's something safe. So hopefully you're going to see some of these projects um, on my Facebook page, uh, doing them live. If not, I'll try to do some tutorials in this group or at least film some shorts, uh, start to finish with them. But that's about it. Well, don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell so you're notified each and every time I put up a new video. Once again, I'm Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs. Make sure to follow me on Facebook because Facebook is where I, I, I paint live. I paint live and you get to see my projects being done. A lot of my project pictures, everything always goes on Facebook. So you can go to AJ's Vintage Designs on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest as well. So love and hugs, everybody. Have a fabulous week. And um, this is filmed in December, so also happy holidays. Love and hugs, everybody. Bye.